Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a very special video for you today where I'm going to be showing you the pattern on this Bitcoin chart which thus far has been absolutely perfectly respected. So I'm going to be going through that at the towards the end of this video and how I am trading this really nice pattern and I also want to cover the trades that I've taken of the last 24 hours. Oof, educationally you are going to take a lot from this video because honestly the trades have just been close to perfect so it's oof, yeah a pleasure to share this with you and i really hope that you enjoy because yeah just top class trading so with that said let's go into these charts okay so i will cover what what's happening at the end towards the end of this video also just be aware that you've got 22 hours left of this 200 bitcoin competition and i also mentioned this towards the end so Starting off though, before we get into what's happening now, I want to cover the trades, uh, basically picking up exactly where we left off yesterday's video, which as you know, was down around that monthly level. Okay, the monthly level for me was a crucial level. We were slightly below that level as I was making the video. Okay, as you know, that monthly level, we can see in the end held really nice, but let's get into my thought process. Let's get into my brain as best as I can now. OK, to explain what I was doing, the what trades and how I was managing them in real time. OK, so this was the update that I gave to my group. This was around 10 a.m. As you can see, uh, I closed the short position again. This is real time as it's happening. OK, so closing that short again from 11,400, closing it at 10,700. So why was I closing it there? As you know, the original short position, as you can see, that 11,400 short on Bybit was literally taken to the absolute high. Like you, it was almost impossible to have got a better entry than that. So firstly, why was that entry? As you know, it was entered there because of the fact we had uh, the CME hitting 11,500, which for me was a crucial level. And also the fact that you saw the initial rejection, it was just enough for me to feel comfortable reaching these high term time frame levels to not expect price to go through it like that and actually get a pullback. So a mixture of reasons here why I first entered that short and not taking, you know, not, not closing that out during the whole move down. Where did I decide to close that short? Well, as you can see, I closed it back down at the monthly. Could price have broken through this level and hit like 9,000 levels? Absolutely, it could have, but I am trading the technicals here. I'm trading the chart, and when there's signs that price is going to reverse, well, naturally, I'm going to be at least taking profits, which I done here was closed. Did not enter the long straight away. I wanted to see a little bit more uh, confluence and actual reasonings to take that long so sensible trading in my opinion but at the very least closing out that short position <clears throat> at around that monthly level so from the monthly uh what did you have going on here well there was actually a lot wasn't there if you haven't watched yesterday's video make sure you watch it but what was really key was obviously our high term time frame channel here okay so when we zoom out onto the high term time frames let's just come out to the weekly okay you know we had this really nice channel okay which was connecting those highs and on the lower term time frames as you know we back tested that absolutely perfectly so that 10,600 support held really well okay so that we helped we saw the support holding and which was uh, nice but for me a little bit more of a key factor as you can see why I went into that long and again real time updates as I'm taking the longs um, was the CVD divergences. OK, so if we come on to uh, this actually loads. Uh, sorry. Well, there you go. I, yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, sorry, that, that was a bit. Uh, anyway, it's loaded now. Basically, we had really bullish CVD divergences with price breaking down majorly well the, the cvd line breaking down majorly but price actually not following price making a higher low obviously your cvd making a lower low and that's obviously pretty big big cvd divergences when you compare the price difference and for me what i was saying was if it was a lot like the 9500 lows literally what five days ago when we also had that crazy bullish cvd divergences so you know as at this moment in time i was in a long position well, the, while there was still heavy selling going on, but as I was saying, I have a good feeling about this. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold my long position that I'm in now and, you know, got to be looking for, in my opinion, higher prices. And uh, as always, not financial advice, as this video is, this video is not financial advice. Do what you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do ever with your money. Uh, I'm just going to give you an educational piece. But as you know, my non-financial advice here worked absolutely perfectly once again, as my good feeling about the long position absolutely paid off. As you can see, we reclaimed that monthly level and from there we were heading towards $11,200. You might think $11,200. How? Why? Where are you getting this level from? So the first thing in the morning, this was at 6 a.m. yesterday, I recognized that 11200 was the big level of resistance. And then as you know, through the day, 
why I was in that long. Again, literally shorted the high 11,400, longed the low, okay? And then from there, I knew where my target was. It was 11,200. So as you can see in that long position, this is at 12 a.m. Uh, saying, you know, looking for, sorry, 12 p.m. <laughs> looking for the, um, you know, 11,200 level. That's the level that I'm taking this long position to throughout the day. I've mentioned this level several times. And as you can see, ping, ping, as we hit 11,200. I will. Where was that? Where was that post? Oh, I can't find it now. But basically, I, I, I put a post in the group and I, it was like, look at that. I literally longed. Sorry, I literally, let's go down onto the uh, 15 minute here. Yeah. So I literally shorted the exact high, literally longed the exact low. Like, is there anybody that thinks we're not going to win that 200 Bitcoin competition? I mean, come on, that is insane trading. And then from longing that low, recognizing 11,200 was likely going to be that high. Have a guess what the high was, ladies and gentlemen, 11,200 before a big pullback. So, uh, yeah, that's recognizing every step of the way, the high, the low, and then the internal high on the chart. So nice. And uh, this is where it become a little bit bad for me because I originally did take, so I, I messed up slightly on my trades here because I originally took a short off, you know, basically this 11,200 level. But for me, what went wrong here was I originally took a, a short off of 11,200, but then I didn't switch into a long, but I originally closed my short position as it had its first rejection. OK, because in my thought process uh, at the time when we actually hit, this is what I like to do. I like to react when we hit the levels. So obviously I've originally took my short, originally took my long, and then I did take a short, as you know, from this 11,200 region. But what I actually done was I took profit on my short. OK, so I closed out that short position, uh, expecting that at to actually push on a little bit higher. I did not take a long, but nevertheless, I just thought in a spot it was good enough to expect slightly higher prices. Obviously, that was the an incorrect uh, call that I done because in the end, we actually did fall down from that level. And as you can see, we've just gone sideways this morning. We retested around, you know, 11,150. So it wasn't anything major, but literally that was for me just such a nice talk through that I could do of those trades to show you how I shorted those highs, how I longed the lows, and how I originally just obviously taking the long position from the exact low all the way up to literally the exact high. Originally then switching that long into a short, taking profit too early on the short, obviously, but nevertheless, it's hard to hard to deny that that is insane champion level trading. Just absolutely pin perfect all the way from every pivot of that chart. Just so, so perfect. So I must admit, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> uh, you can probably tell. But yeah, now moving on to the pattern that we have now. So that's talked you through literally how I've nailed those moves all the way and now what do you have going on here i actually like this from the candle closes if you look here from the candle closes you have this really nice triangle going on okay so you have this really nice triangle structure okay with the high and then a low lower high higher low lower high potentially our higher low being put in here and this is creating a structure uh, you know, I'm going to release the Elliott Wave video to you uh, probably Friday, I imagine. I'll probably put that Elliott Wave video out because a lot of people wanted it. But this is a triangle, obviously, if you're looking at, um, you know, the way that I was counting this. OK, being, uh, you know, the wave one, wave two, this looks like a very, looks like a third wave, doesn't it? Looks like a third wave. And then you have the alternation of a flat in the two and then a triangle in the fourth. Um, you know, th this is standard Elliott Wave, uh, you know, textbook stuff where you are then expecting a break. Obviously, generally speaking, you're expecting the break up out of the triangle, aren't you? But do be aware that these triangles obviously can always break to the downside. So you do have to view this almost neutral and you can be looking to trade the break when it comes. But one would say that it's, it's got higher probabilities, OK, of breaking to the upside. But at the end of the day, it's a symmetrical triangle. So you do have to view it a little bit more neutral, but you would envision this to break upwards. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you know, you can you can trade the break of this if it breaks to the downside, you know, trade a short if it breaks the uptides, trade to trade a long. All I would say is we are in an ABCDE triangle right now. OK, so obviously your ABCDE, so I'll just draw it on for you a second. So you got, you're viewing it like this almost. So your A, B, C, D, you know, E could potentially go on a bit longer. All I want to say is that you could be in the process here of making something along the lines of a WXY, which does mean that this correction is going to go sideways for, for a while longer. I personally would prefer that. OK, so I would personally prefer that actually instead of getting this triangle, it, it does something like this <laughs> because I love to trade the ranges and, and most people probably aren't expecting it. But so I, I would like a bit more sideways. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see if that happens. But um, that, that's the triangle that I think you've got to be aware of because there's clearly, you know, it's offered really, really, really good trades thus far with a short, a long and a short. 
you know, obviously, I, I, I didn't take that short this morning, by the way, because I was actually asleep. But I did manage to take the long off the low of the wick. So that was nice. But I've already closed out that long, by the way. But um, yeah, it's offered some really, really, really nice trades this so I wanted to make you aware of it in this video. I want to say to you one more time that this is a this is a symmetrical triangle. One would say it's more likely to break to the upside, but definitely does not have to be the case. Um, and overall, I would actually envision, you know, or I would like anyway for this to continue sideways for another few days, potentially, or even more, because, you know, many people at this moment in time, you know, everybody, you know, you get to the long, everybody turns really bearish, you get to the highs, everybody turns really bullish. So what's the most max pain every time that continues to happen? Well, you keep trapping the traders as you tra as you remain range bound. Um, you know, <clears throat> at the end of the day, I'll trade the charts just as I will every time. Every time I take the trades, I do wait for their actions. I do wait for the data. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, that's what I'm going to do or, or kind of what I'm envisaging. So I hope that you've enjoyed this analysis. It's been insightful for you to show you how I traded and how I absolutely nailed those moves. And again, that is in real time, giving those trades, like giving those every step of the way when I'm taking the, when I'm closing my shorts, when I'm taking the longs and literally nailing the, oh, that, that was it. Yeah, that was the post that I was all about. Literally nailing the exact highs, longing the exact lows. I mean, imagine thinking we're not going to win that 200 Bitcoin competition and just so I'll end with that. Uh, if you do want to join the team, by the way, I'll leave it down in the comments below of how you can join the team. It's really simply four steps. And just so you're aware, the pre-registration ends in 22 hours. OK, so you've got 22 hours to to do that. I think uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we are not going to be winning this competition. I just think, yeah, I'm going to be obviously trading it my absolute best. So I am going to be putting in my full effort. And obviously, as you can see on step four, I will be live trading this for a swing trade perspective. So all of my swing trades, I'm going to be giving the entry, the stop loss and the target. So it's going to be very, very, very nice. I, yeah, I truly believe I'm going to absolutely crush, absolutely crush this competition. So obviously anybody can join the team. OK, anybody at all. So if you're watching this video. You can join the team, but if you want my entries, my exits and my stop losses from a swing trade perspective, then that's obviously only for the champions group. OK, but for everybody else can join the team, because when we win this competition, everybody receives uh, a a percentage of the winnings, by the way. So it's pretty nice. But you have to do make sure that you have at least 0 0.1 Bitcoin. Otherwise, you are basically kicked from the team if you have no deposit you, you get kicked just so you're aware of that. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this competition. I think it's going to be absolutely just so, so, so epic. And then obviously, yeah, I'll be also giving literally uh, entry exits and stop losses from my trades that I'm doing it. And if it's anything like yesterday where I was getting those longs and then literally giving the take profit of, uh, <laughs> giving the take profits there of 11,200. And let's just do that on the chart once more. As you can see that high right there, just so you can see, by the way. So from literally shorting the high, longing the low, that next high that was put in was 11,210. So just insane accuracy, if I do say so myself. But <laughs> yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the details in the comments down below and just have a brilliant day because I absolutely am thoroughly enjoying trading this and I hope that you are too. So, you know, stay neutral on the charts. Don't be an ultra bull. Don't be an ultra bear trade the charts and let's make some money. Cheers team. Bye.